Hey guys, Janelik97 here, welcoming you guys back to Let's Play Link's Awakening. In the last part, we went through Catfish Maw, and this part, we are going to go ahead and start heading to the next area. But since I actually have the hook shot, I am actually going to get a couple heart pieces. Alright. See you. Yeah. Could you guess this is post commentary? No, nah, I bet you couldn't. Yeah, I have post commentary because during this episode, I was recording. And when I finished it, I went to edit this, and guess what wonderful thing happened? My mic was muted. Yeah, I had a muted mic trying to talk. Like, there's a couple times I unmuted my mic at a point where I was muting my mic. <sighs> I was so pissed. Right here, I'm just looking for something. But yeah, I am really pissed that that happened. I really wish it didn't, though. But, eh. But, like, with this, uh, content ID thing, I don't understand it very well, but I kind of got to feel, I don't even know what I'm doing here. And of course, my cursor is still on the screen. Drives me nuts, man. It's like, jeez. I just, I don't know. I just record the next part after this. I'm like, eh, I was going to rename it part, what, 17? I was going to rename it, and I realized, oh yeah, I gotta do this. So I have this whole 19 minute video with no commentary whatsoever. So I am basically completely stuck. I am just sorry, it's just, ugh. That ferret came right to me, that's cool. Push it, come on. Alright. Alright, in here. Now that we have the hook shot, we can actually equip it, and we can actually hook shot our way over there, and then we could jump across the gap and get this. So yeah, it's... Hook shot is very nifty. And then when you need to get back out, you just push the rocks. And there you go. You're basically done. And kind of seeing unfilled spots in the map, I will fill in every single spot no matter what. Doesn't matter what happens, I will completely... Yeah. Yeah, so everything is going to be kind of off, so... Yeah. probably have to cut off a second. I mean, looking at it... Oh my god, it's like barely half a second. 
It's not even half a second, it's like a quarter of a second. Jeez. I just don't know, dude. But yeah, I got Metroid Fusion going on right now. I got this. I'm still uploading some Paper Mario. I got Twilight Princess to upload. At least I'm pretty sure I have a t Twilight Princess to upload. Since, you know, I'm not uh, doing anything, I guess I can go look that up and see if I do have something to upload. Alright, Twilight Princess. Yep, I have one to upload. Oh yeah, now we get to do this little sign game. This is so annoying. Alright, go this way. I I was just trying to figure out what the start was, but this is the start, considering it shows which... So you're basically, you want to be like right where the sign is, and then like you get on the side of the sign, and then you go that way. And then you basically have to go directly, or directly, from where the sign actually is. Yeah, this part's not really fun, so, yeah. Alright, then you have to go all the way across again. Alright, then go that way. But then that way. Then that way. Then that other way. Great, you did it. Your reward's this way. Ribbit, ribbit, I'm Mamu. On vocals, but I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us join? Jam? For 300 rupees, we'll lis let you listen. To a previously unreleased cut, what do you do? I'll pay. Thank you, thank you very much, Croak. He's like an Elvis. We've learned the Frog Song of Soul. It's a very moving tune. It can even liven up unliving things. If you play this song, you'll make everything around you feel more alive. Oh, 
boy, I gotta do this again. God, I have like a whole nine minutes left. I real you just don't like post commentary because you know you're like oh my god you gotta sit here forever and it's just ugh. Sucks. All right, this is where we'll get one of our, the other one of our heart pieces, actually. You do you need to do the bomb arrow trick here. Alright, there we go, we got two. Almost there. I actually have to come back to this raft thing after we're done with this uh, next area, don't I? But yeah, spoiler, like 30 second spoilers though, It's we're going to the raft game. I need 100 rupees for this, which of course I had maxed out my rupees, so, I should, so I'm fine. <sighs> Alright, let's get her going. And do not go down that way. There's no fight in the current, so... Get what you get and you don't throw fit. And for some reason, right there it skipped, because, like, it's weird, It's only ha it only happens with a link, uh, Link's Awakening too. I'll be sitting there and I'm recording, and then all of a sudden it's, it, like, kind of skips a little bit, and then it has, like, another separate video with it. Only does it with Link's Awakening, though. I don't understand, because it doesn't do it with Metroid Fusion. Only does it with this. Hoot. There are two shrines. One to the north, the other to the south. First head south. 
where an ancient ruins speak of the windfish. You will learn much there. Alright. Hmm. I like the speed up thing. It's fun. I don't know why I went back just to kill that thing. Alright, there is an a link to the past boss. Except for the bosses didn't break up like that. And we got the face key. Alright, if you don't light these torches, it'll say it's too dark in here to read that. So, you have to have the torches on. To the finder, the Isle of Koholit is but an illusion. Human, monster, sea, sky, a scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer, and Koholit will vanish much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away, you should know the truth. What? Illusion? Link talks right there. As you can see, you know, there's like Gapora, Capora right there. And, yeah, see, right there. And then, then, yeah, it's the windfish. And then that's so the text we just read the poem. So, that'll be all for this episode, so I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening. See you guys then, we'll head to the Face Shrine.